Sixth most common question, if Islam allows a man to have more than one wife, why does not Islam allow a woman to have more than one husband? As far as marrying women is concerned, the category of women a man can marry is clearly specified in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 22 to 24. And it's mentioned in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 24, that you cannot marry a woman who's already married. That means in Islam, a woman cannot have more than one husband. Before I give you the real reason, imagine there's already a scarcity of women finding husband. If a woman has more than one husband, this scarcity will increase. It will multiply the problem. Let's analyze what are the logical reasons that Islam prohibits a woman to have more than one husband. When a man has more than one wife, and if any child is born out of that wedlock, you can easily identify who is the father as well as who is the mother. But if a woman has more than one husband, and if a child is born, you can identify the mother, but you will not be able to identify the father. <laughs> and if you go to admit that child in school, and if they ask you what is the name of the father, you may have to give two names. And today, psychology, they tell us that identifying the parents is very important for a healthy childhood, especially the identity of the father. If you cannot identify the parents, the child has a lot of mental trauma. Today, after science has advanced, I'm aware that there is DNA testing and genetic testing where you can identify who is the father and who is the mother though it's not very accurate. But even if I agree that maybe after a few years it becomes accurate, yet it has happened recently. All these years it wasn't there. And this is not the only reason why a woman is not allowed to have more than one husband. There are various other reasons. For example, today science tells us that a man is more polygamous in nature as compared to a woman. Today science tells us that because of the various behavioral and psychological changes that take place in a woman during menstrual cycle, she cannot do the role of multiple wives simultaneously. Whereas a man, he can do the role of multiple husbands simultaneously. Furthermore, if a woman has more than one husband or more than one sexual partner, and if all of them are loyal to each other, yet there are high chances that venereal diseases and sexual transmitted disease will emerge. And it can be retransmitted back to the man. Whereas if a man, today medical science tells us, that if a man has more than one sexual partner, has more than one wife, and if all of them are loyal to one another, there are hardly any chances of venereal diseases or sexually transmitted diseases emerging in them. So scientifically, also, and medically, it's no problem for a man to have more than one wife, but it's problematic for a woman to have more than one husband.